Hi you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to apologize to y'all. I have not made many videos and that is my own fault. Um, for you guys who, who have subscribed, thank you so much. And I will try to make as much videos as possible. If you want me to do something, uh, email me. I'll leave it down below. Um, but yeah, please just tell me what you guys want me to do. I'm sorry I haven't been on top of my game with uh, making videos and uploading them. I've been kind of swamped with senior stuff. I am a senior. I am planning my wedding. So it's a little overwhelming at times, but I will try. I do have glasses. I am not wearing them. Because I literally just got up and was like, hey, I'm just going to make a video since I want to procrastinate clean my room and unpack my suitcase, which I'll explain that in a different video. But yeah, um, I'm probably going to go do that. But also, like another thing is, um... For you guys who aren't following me on Instagram, you guys can. I actually got Instagram without parents' permission, which is kind of a little scary, but yeah. But yeah, it's a little scary having Instagram without parents' permission due to the fact that they're like super like, oh my god, what are you doing? Like, what are you posting? This and that. Um... If you guys haven't seen from any of my previous videos, me and my parents don't get along. <laughs> but yeah, um, anyways. Um, sorry. Putting something up. But yeah, in any of my previous videos, me and my parents kind of don't have a relationship, which is something I'm trying to get better at. But with me being a senior in high school and me being 18, um, family is kind of hard for me. But yeah. And I know I look like I'm living in Alaska. Honey, my room's a mess, can you tell? <laughs> I kind of gave up. But yes, music video. I promise you, I will try to get to that. But if you guys want me to do it, uh, let me know. If not, be like, nope, that's a bad idea. Like, tell me. I understand my voice is pretty horrible. <laughs> um, I am currently looking for a job in Texas. Um, I have to apply for a job since... Like, I don't want to start taking, sorry, I kind of want to start taking responsibility for my actions and for what I need to do. Um, so Lily, um, I'm gonna, sorry. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see me. I'm actually gonna, turn that off. I'm actually gonna sit down and talk with y'all. Um, for those who have been on my channel um before thank you guys for sticking around um so one thing that kind of irritated me yesterday was i went to do the laundry my laundry out at a laundry mat since my washer at home broke um so i walk in and i'm standing with my mom and i had like i had like these jeans on and like my big, big buff, my big college shirt on, and I get told, or I get told I'm a boy, and like, my mom corrects them and all of that, like, it doesn't bother me that I get called a boy, I look like a boy sometimes, um, yesterday was one of the days I did not bind, which kind of, like, wearing that kind of didn't make me this for it, but it's when people assume that I'm something and then I'm not like yesterday I was asked if I was a boy or a girl even though I look like a girl apparently 
Um, my voice also cracks a lot due to the fact that I usually sing in a low pitch. But, but yeah, um, sorry, I thought I saw something. Anyways, um, to me it's kind of a little frustrating because I'm like, I cosplay as a girl sometimes, I kind of cosplay as a boy, but one thing that makes me irritated is people assume things, I mean, like, I was identified as a boy yesterday identified as a boy yesterday which doesn't bother me i'm like still questioning my gender here like i identify as trans but at the same time i'm like i don't know i'm getting married to a boy and people are saying you can't be trans and marry a boy you can't be gay and dating a boy so i'm just like it's whatever it's a big fiasco right now um but yeah i'm questioning my gender i've kind of been doing that since sixth grade Sixth grade, I knew I wasn't a girl, but at the same time, I wanted to dress and look like a boy. But now that I'm a senior in high school, I'm struggling to see where I feel comfortable with. Like, there's days I'm comfortable with being a boy. And there's days I'm comfortable with being a girl. Now, my situation is my boyfriend, I have came out to him and told him how I feel about my gender. And he and I first got in a fight about that, but we've come to an agreement and he's kind of coming around a little bit. Um, I actually have a date with him tomorrow, so I have no freaking clue what I'm going to wear. I have workout tomorrow morning. If y'all don't know what, we, what that is for me, um, I'm in a military program, so PT is like our workout day. Um... Oh my god, I gotta quit yawning. If you guys can't tell, I'm exhausted. I literally woke up this morning to my mom poking my side, like telling me to get up, and then she started getting on to me because she said I lied to her about um, unpacking my suitcase. But I was like, I didn't want to do it yesterday or today because I was like, what if something happens? Like, I don't want to have to repack all of that. And like, and like all of that, so yeah, and I'm sorry for the fact that my voice sounds horrible right now. I'm actually not feeling very well. I have actually been really sleep deprived and I have had so much like anxiety. Like even when, and then my, the fact that I don't know what's going on with my hand, but I'll be sitting here and it'll just like twitch and like it's not on a purpose twitch like some people will think I'm like oh you're just doing it to get attention that type of shit no I've been sitting down and I've been like trying to do stuff and like out of nowhere my arm starts twitching or my wrist will twitch or like my muscle right up here in this part will start twitching so this muscle on this arm twitches but this whole arm right here will like go like that like I was sitting in my um my seventh period class at school yes the senior has eight classes well nine classes but I technically have eight but I don't have a class eight period but still I don't care um but yeah so I was sitting in seventh period and my aunt just went like that and I was leaning against my friend and he's actually texting me right now. Sorry, hold on a sec. I don't know, I can't see what he texted me, but okay. Um, I'm actually going to set you guys up right here. If you guys heard that, that was a shot glass. Um, sorry about that. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see me. I have the light behind me because that was just hitting my eyes, looking straight into it. There. Oh god, I look pale. 
So I recently came out and told my parents I was not religious and that kind of backfired. Um, to me, honestly, religion is something I'm not going to strain about. Oh my god, wait, this is not working. Alright. So for me, like, religion hasn't always been my, like, thing. Because I have been discriminated and I have been kicked out of church just before. For being gay. And the pastors are like, you can't do this, this, and this. Like, if we ever go on a trip, like, you have to be separated from everyone. And I just didn't want to deal with that. They still wanted me to be with the girls, but at the same time, they were, like, very hesitant to even let me go on trips with them. So, going into high school, that was all middle school. Going into high school, I came out as trans to my youth pastor because I thought it was time. I had been going to his church for about three years-ish. I actually came out last year, um... And one thing that kind of scared me was the fact that when he told me that he can't believe I didn't tell him sooner and that uh, I would have to be sitting down with my parents when I told before I could even switch youth groups. Because at that time, sorry, I'm messing with tape. I don't know why. Um, at that time, I was with the girls unit. And to me, I didn't like that at all so when we played games i was like what side do i go on like this and that and he told me to go to the girl section the girl section and a lot of my friends who know i'm not straight or identify as a girl um they were trying to be supportive and be like hey it's okay it's okay like you're almost 18 you can kind of make your own decisions and then i had a really good gay best friend um He's actually probably going to college in at Ozark. It's a Christian school. Um, but yeah, I'm looking at a C, but I also got a thing for a program in, I believe, Florida. I am not sure, but it is a gaming school. Like, you'll work on programming, graphic designs, uh, stuff like that. So I'm applying there, or at least I'm wanting to, I'm not sure. It is all online, and one thing it asked is my social security card number, and I was like very hesitant. I have not finished that yet, but I'm also still applying for AC, due to the fact that not only is that where my boyfriend goes, but it's also where I can get my basics before I go before I'm ever, like, anywhere else. I am still wanting to join the military. Um, at this point, my main concern is my heart. If a lot of y'all can't see, I have a white scar going down the middle of my chest. I had open heart surgery when I was six years old. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'm rambling here, so... If you want me to make a video about my heart surgery and what happened to me when I was a baby all the way up till I was 18, well I am 18 so all the way from when I was a baby to now, I'll make that video. Um, music video, same thing, anything, if you want me to paint my mother, my dad, my grandparents, it's like whatever, just let me know. Thank you. Please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a I don't know if you can leave a notification, if not, just email me and I will make a folder for everything that's for YouTube. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching.